Uh, we're at uh, mid-November and we've been doing our streaming for a long time. You may remember we did a video a while ago of our back-end stuff. Well, we've upgraded and we're doing things a little bit different, come with me. So, we have recently got all the computers and stuff. We're running the latest version of ProPresenter. That's been working fine. Um, we've got multiple outputs and things. Um, and I'll take you downstairs in a minute. But basically our video mixer has recently been moved down there, so let's go this way. Um, what we did recently was um, we picked up one of these, and this is fantastic because it just basically, we push one button and it streams immediately, and we push another button and it records the stream immediately as well, so it's fantastic like that. Um, Here's the good thing about this this A10 Mini Pro ISO thing is while we're only using one input on it, we're specifically using it for streaming, but it's got all the basic built-in EQ compressor, limiter, everything on any channel. So we can still get our nice audio feed, but we can make it even better. So it's fantastic and we can do all that sort of stuff downstream keying and whatever. Um, you can read reviews and we can talk about it, but whatever. So we're still monitoring off air on the iPad, on a 4G iPad, and that works great. Um, this is the output of the ATEM. Um, we can do two things with it. We can preview the main program feed, or in this case, we've got the multi-view thing. The downside to this device, though, is we can't go and have multiple program view and the multi-cam view at the same time it's just it's one or the other and for our sake we're just monitoring it pretty much um, for other stuff quite frankly we're using this Roland switcher and this is where everything's gone to so instead of that being on the desk now it's down here um, and Mark has been the one operating this you remember Mark from last time um, and apart from that, everything else is the same. Um, but it's all it's all still working great. We're running off the internet. We've I think we've only got a 50 meg internet plan of uh, MBN, which is allowing us to do 50, 50 20. Yeah, it's a 50 20. So we're allowed. We're, we're getting to do uh, about five meg upload. No, two. Whichever it is, it's it's been working fine. Four and a half meg. Nobody else is on the church Wi-Fi or internet, and it's just. Cracking along, we're now doing 1080p instead of 720, um, and yeah, it's it's really cool. So we've got two cameras, one here and the other one there for different wide-angle shots, and we've got a drum cam that sits way over there. Um, you can't see it right now, but anyway, so we get we get our three three camera angles. And, um, yeah. Have I missed anything? There's, there's a connection. I don't there. think so. In-house comms? We've also just uh, started doing in-house comms as well. So this is a, a little thing called Mumble. Mumble? Yep. Mumble is the app. Um, and that's connected via Wi-Fi. But you need so a computer. You need a, a computer running the Mumble server thing. Um, basically a gaming headset. And we're plugging them into mobile devices. It just runs an app. So you can push the talk and you can hear everybody. Um, and apart from that, yeah, it's all pretty cool. So anyway, that's a quick wrap up again of another quick tech tour. Um, and if you want to know more, just send me a message or something or I'll get in touch and happy to answer any questions. Alright, see ya.